hope you're doing well today. I want to talk to you about a question that I get often in my team page. Uh, I like to bring those questions to YouTube because I know that if somebody on my team is having a question about it, then other people are as well. So um, I want to talk to you today about social media and how you can take your business to social media without just spamming all of your friends. I think this is the number one concern from people who start in direct sales or really any type of online business. They don't want to annoy their friends and family. So I have a few suggestions for that. First of all, um, I think the most important thing, like more than any of the tips and the, the strategies and all of that is just that you have to divorce yourself from the idea that you're bothering people. You have to know that what you're doing is um, sharing a blessing with people, either in the way of, of great products or in, in the opportunity for them to grow a large business and change their lives. You've got to just know that what you're doing is helping people. And also with the same, with that being said, um, if people don't like it, I mean, so what? That is hard. I think that's the, the hardest thing for people. Um, you're going to likely annoy some people. You're going to probably be unfriended. You are, people might even talk behind your back about how you're annoying. But if you're doing it from a place of wanting to help other people, if you're using the tips I'm going to talk about, if you are gen genuinely invested in the opportunity that you are presenting, and you really, with your whole body and being, believe that it is a huge opportunity for people, who cares if people are annoyed? Who cares? Okay, so that mindset piece, you guys, is, is like, I don't know, 70% of this. A few resources that I think can really help you are, um, I love the book, You Are a Badass. It's just all about like you, like owning your power, um, owning what you're doing and just standing behind it. So I love that book. Um, I also really like um, The Entrepreneurial Roller Coaster. I think that's a really good one. Um, there's another one that I was just gonna say. Um, oh, the five second rule. The five second rule is about just doing things that are a little bit hard and uncomfortable and I think we have to do that a lot in online um, online business, especially when it comes to branding. So those are some resources that I recommend, but that mindset piece is really huge and it will carry you um, through because you know, some days in, in business, in online business, um, in all business really, it's easy and it feels great and you know those sales come and people are joining your team and you're feeling great and you're 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 at the peak of the roller coaster but there are some days where you're in a dip and you're low and the personal development and that mindset piece if that is strong that will bridge the gap between the high and the low points so that that's just a non-negotiable you've got to be filling your tank with with that positive um, professional development um, okay, so let's let's assume that we've got the mindset piece down. Now, for some tactical strategies, um, I recommend 80-20 when you are posting about your business on social media. That means that 80% of the time you are just doing value-added type of posts and shares and information. Value-added that pertains to you and maybe your business. So if you're in skincare, your value adds might have to do with um, drinking enough water for supple skin or um, an article that talks about anti-aging or um, you know something is a, a PSA about sunscreen okay um, or and also not just related to your business so if you're a mom um, maybe some entertaining mom stories or some recipes that were quick for your family um, maybe if you love to garden you'll talk about your gardening so 80% of the time you are adding value in ways that might not directly relate to your business. They can, so like I just gave the example of the skincare, you know, those articles and those some of those things, those are related to your business, but it's not saying buy this. <laughs> They're just adding value to people's lives. Um, I like to think about, 
you know, five things that really make up you that you want to brand on social media. So for me, I love to talk about parenting and, and sort of the, the realness of it. Um, I love talking about being healthy. I love talking about business and mindset. Those are sort of, uh, and I love like funny videos. <laughs> those, are, those are the things that, that I really put out there on social media pretty regularly. It will be rare for me to put something that doesn't pertain to one of those five things. I mean, I might, but it's not my norm. So think about your five things. What do you want your social media brand to be? Those five things are going to be what you post about 80% of the time, and they are going to be value added. Even you know, pictures of your children should add some sort of a value. You know, is it funny? Is it entertaining? Is it adorable? Is it going to make someone smile? Everything you put on social media, once you have an online business, needs to be beneficial. So it's no longer just a family scrapbook. It's a business tool. And I want you to think about your, um, your profile page on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or wherever it is, LinkedIn. It's like your resume. So you really want to pay attention to what gets posted there. If you are friends with someone who's constantly sharing stuff to your page, you might need to change your settings so that you can make sure that the things being shared to your page are appropriate and are something that you want to represent you and your brand. Because again, it's it's like your resume now. Um, and and you know, we, that can be difficult, but it also is really, really wonderful because social media is basically free. Okay. So that I talked about the 80%. Now the 20%, that's where you are, um, talking directly about your business and you're, you're making strong calls to action. So, um, another way to think about it is, um, Gary Vaynerchuk's book, jab, 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 right hook. Um, the jabs are those, that 80% of value added, um, information. The right hook is the call to action, right hook. I'm, I'm using my left, um, right or left hook. That, that's a call to action. That's we have a call tomorrow night and I'd love for you to be on comment below to be added. Or, um, if you want to be part of my VIP page, um, click like and I will add you or send me a message or um, you know comment below if you've never tried these leggings okay so any sort of call to action keep it to about 20% as far as how many times to post a day that is entirely up to you when I started um, making my brand really you know something that was a, an, a big part of my business so that was about six years ago I wasn't on social media, so I really had to work hard to establish my, my brand. If that's you, you probably want to post about three times a day so that people can start seeing your stuff regularly. If you already have an established brand on social media or if you're already there, you probably don't need to post three times a day. One to two times a day is probably enough. Um, and, you know... It, it's like I said, that's that's up to you. I found that posting a lot at the beginning was really, really helpful for getting eyeballs on my stuff. So if you feel like you've got a lot of eyeballs on your stuff already, then just pay attention to the 80-20 rule. If you feel like, where is everybody? Then post a little bit more to, to boost the eyes on, on what you're putting out there. Okay, one more thing. Um, I want you to remember that that especially for Facebook and Instagram, LinkedIn might be a little bit different and Twitter too. Um, but my my guess is that they're similar in this. They are wanting their platforms to be a conversation space that takes place within the platform. So anytime you post a link that takes you outside of the platform, it's going to lower your affinity. And what I mean by affinity is how many people see it, okay? So if you post a link in your in your post, it's just not going to get shown to very many people because the the bots are going to see it and say they're trying to get you off of Facebook, so we're not we don't really want many people to see this. If you have a link, you can post it in the comments section. That's the best. Or what's even better is having people come to you for the link. Um but it because it's a they want it to be a conversation. The quicker you can get likes, comments, and shares on a post, 
the more people will see it. So that's why you want to add value. You want to create value so people want to engage with your posts. They want to say thank you or I'm going to share this or I love this or this is great or whatever. Um, and, and if we're just posting pictures of our kids with no point or, um, you know, I don't know, something that just isn't going to get a lot of attention, it's going to lower how many people see that post and eventually it will lower how many people see all of your stuff. So if you're getting a lot of likes, comments, and shares on your 80% material, then they will also start to see your 20% material and that's what we really want them to see. Because once they see that, um, then they're, they're hearing you. Even if it's in the back of their head, you're there and you're making noise even in their subconscious. And then when they need whatever you are selling, they will think of you. I hope you guys found that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this information helpful. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I try to put out videos twice a week, so if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any requests for future video topics, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay positive and be happy.